Tonight, the Shiloh community is getting federal leaders and agencies involved in its road to justice. Families there dealing with devastating flooding that is threatening their homes. WDHN's Robert Smith has the story only on WDHN. This journey to justice tour in the Shiloh community, the Bullard Center, along with other environmental organizations, have sent pictures and videos of the latest flood last Sunday to federal agencies like the U.S. Department of Transportation, who hasn't visited the community in a year. We wanted to show in real time, folks in war, things have gotten worse uh, while they investigate, while they uh, study. Uh, the community uh, right now needs uh, action. Dr. Buller says the Shiloh community has been needing action for the last six years when Highway 84 was expanded into a four lane and elevated, placing the historically black community in a bowl where the water from the highway is flooding their community, damaging homes and creating more issues. So we're dealing with flooding and we're dealing with the pipeline. So we want the U.S. DOT, uh, Secretary Buttigieg, uh, to actually come down and visit, uh, take a tour and see uh, what federal highway monies uh, and transportation monies uh, have actually done to this community. Dr. Buller says so far the federal agencies have been receptive to their issues, but it's multiple agencies involved to address certain issues, which can make it difficult to come up with solutions or funding in a timely manner. But he says this is an urgent matter. This has to be let, uh, raised to the level of a priority that the administration, uh, President Biden, and Vice President Kamala Harris and Secretary Pete Buttigieg of USDOT need to be aware and need to be uh, concerned. Dr. Buller says while flooding has been the main issue for the community, it's not the only one, and he hopes there are solutions for all issues to make the community whole. That there are funds available for making this community whole, whether it's the bipartisan infrastructure law, whether it's water system, sewer system, and the Inflation Reduction Act. Dr. Buller says their short-term goal would be commitments from the federal administration this month during Black History Month. Those commitments in place in two to four months, but the long-term goal is before November, the voting season. Reporting, Robert Smith, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.